Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Welcome to the live stream. Today we're gonna take a look at the new Icon Moments SVCs that we had released. Finally got a couple pretty strong icons overall, so that'll be good to take a look at it. But howdy everyone, thanks so much for hanging out. Hey Danilo, hey TLR, hey Mbabu, hey Zach, hey Josh, hey Unknown, hey Golden, hey James, hey Toby, hey Snows, hey Adam, howdy everyone. Got Mrs. Pete Daddy saying hi. Hey. Mrs. Pete Daddy said hi, let's see. But let's see what we got. Hey, Anthony. Yeah, how are you doing, brother? I'm glad you are back. <clears throat> but I guess first and foremost, let's take a look. Or I'll show you first and foremost. I'll show you guys what I did to the team. We sold. I'm rich, but I'm a million coins less rich. We sold Eto for 2.5 million coins. I paid 3.4 for him. So I'm still kind of upset because... I could have sold them right before player day started and actually made a little bit of a profit. We would have like 1.1 million more. Hey, Ghost, how you doing, brother? Hey, Fosu. Hey, Jens. Howdy, everyone. Thanks so much. Yeah, definitely, Adam. They released some good icons, at least some ones to really take a look at. Hey, Pedro. But so we sold Eto. Losing a million coins is kind of rough. I wish I should have sold them long before. I wish I'd have sold them before player days or recognized it right at the beginning of player days. But yeah, I did enjoy them. Eto was a lot of fun to play with, but I could have sold them, you know, right before player days, made a little bit of a profit, or at least near the beginning of player days, maybe only lost like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand coins. Oh, Pedro, thank you so much for the epic dono. Pedro starting things off right with the big dono. Really appreciate that, brother. Big whopper button for Pedro. Tell the crew to push the whopper button. So I appreciate that greatly, Pedro. Thank you so much, brother. But everybody is dropping massively. Like I've, one, I've kind of keep a look at. Hey, Toby, how you doing, brother? We were also really eyeing up this Butcher Gueno moments, and he was two million coins when we were looking for Eto, and he's now down to like one point two. You know, this one's been out here for a while. So I mean, even if we would have bought Butcher Gueno, we'd have been losing the same like eight or nine hundred thousand coins. So it's just it's just one of those those rough things. Toby, you packed Icon Moments Puyol on Guru. I've, I've got him as well, Toby. I got him from, I think, from a vote, I believe. So congratulations on joining the Puyol Club. Bosu says he tried Kostic. He's quite good, but the three-star, two-star is trash. Yeah, that, that's probably the biggest downside of that Kostic is, is having that, the, uh, the three-star, two-star. But Kostic could be good for just a runner. I mean, he's got that raw pace. He does have some defending. So he could be okay as like a left mid or maybe a wing back, something like that. But definitely not what you want to be your main, main person on your attack or anything like that. But solid overall card and not, not a terrible, not a terrible value for what you had to put into him. But as far as what we're going to spend our coins on, I'll probably wait until team of the season. Maybe we'll just test out a couple community squad players. The way the team is looking right now, I bought, let's see, I've, I've been doing this Premier League challenge, trying to get that Premier League player pack. But let's see what we've got. Neres keeps scoring for you. He has 15 games and nearly 50 goals. That's awesome, Anthony. Livio says, how badly has football fallen? They're putting a new league. I've seen that. Well, they've been talking about a Super League for a long time. It seems like they've been getting hotter and heavier about it here in the last couple years. So I really don't know for sure what they're going to do. I don't want the Super League to happen. I mean, it's almost they're forming it more to be like American sports in a way because I saw one of the big things from the Super League is that there would be, I think it's 20 members, but 15 would be permanent. And then there would be five rotating members, maybe based on how they're doing. But I don't think there's going to be any cooperation between the different leagues or different federations or anything like that. So it's going to be... It's going to be interesting because they're even saying that they won't allow those clubs to go into Champions League, that they won't allow the players to play in international competitions. So if it's going to be this huge hardball, I don't know what's going to happen. It's not good for the sport overall, so I really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, let's see. Have I, this, I have played with Dalot before, Jack, and he is he's certainly solid. I, play, I haven't played with him yet on this account. Basically what I did, Dalot was 25,000 coins roughly. And so I thought worst case scenario, I'm going to lose, you know, 50. I think he quick sells for 50. What does he quick sell for? I, I'm just in the mode. Quick sells for 10,000. Worst case, I'm losing 15,000 coins on Dalot. So I could get an icon right back on 10 chem over here, but I just wanted something to get Renato on 10. But I played with Dalot on my alt account when he first came out. Jack, I really liked Dalot. I really liked Dalot. Um... 
what I like, I, I would not see. That's the thing, Jack. In, in American sports, see, I grew up without relegation, and that's one of the things when I first like kind of got into European sports or European football, learning about relegation. I was kind of like, gosh, I could not imagine. And it's like it's crazy too because I feel like the American sports fan, if our team got relegated to a lower division, we would just. I, and I don't know. Maybe that happens over there. I, I really don't know for sure. Like if. You know, like Sheffield United, are they going to just drop massively in attendance now? I, I don't know exactly. Haven't really followed that too much with how that works because I haven't really followed. I'll follow championship football a little bit, but not like watch it religiously or anything like that. So I'm not sure if like they lose like massive viewership because I know for a, you know for a, the average American sports fan, if we had a team relegated to a second division, we would just be like done with them and. You know, maybe if they came back to the top, we'd get back to them. I mean, you'd maybe kind of follow them a little bit, but it just wouldn't be that same interest. So, but that's what we grew up with. So I was just always really crazy with that whole relegation, relegation and promotion system. But I love that overall, just to be able to, you know, you can be like when we talk about Stevenage, like I talk about being able to take over Stevenage, and I put in my four-year plan. Now, obviously, it's this is not going to happen where you can go from League Two to League One to Championship to the Premier League. But that's amazing to have that possibility of taking a team from a lower division up to the very top you don't like the oh yeah that's true jack so that's the way right nba and nfl teams they can tank to get a better draft pick so that's kind of interesting and it's also weird like the whole transfer fees all that stuff completely different in american sports the way that it works kind of like the g league and the nba yeah like it'd be crazy like if you if uh if the Red Sox had a terrible year like they did last year and they had to drop to Triple A baseball exactly exactly AC bro, favorite formation, I don't really have a favorite formation right now Shadow. I find myself playing a lot of different formations right now. I'm starting. I'm going back to starting in a four two three one. But sometimes I find myself changing to my 3-5-2. Sometimes I find myself changing to a 4-4-2. And sometimes I find myself changing to a 4-3-1-2, depending on what my opponent is doing. This feels like the most I've ever... Like Generally, what I end up doing, and even until like maybe a month or two in FIFA, I would always just have one formation I loved. Just stay with that pretty much the entire 90 minutes, unless something was just going completely crazy. But this is like one of the first times in FIFA where I feel like you've got to change your formation based on what's going on in the game. It's kind of crazy. What do you think about Aguero? Your mate Dedham says he's worth it. I would not do Aguero. I've only come across Aguero one time, Fosu, and I was not very impressed with him. But I personally would wait based on his cost. I would wait until team of the season and see what comes out. I just don't think he has enough enough stats. Martin Tyler downhill since 2016. I still love Martin Tyler. I still love Martin Tyler. Golden said Rio over Bender. I disagree with that. This this spin Bender has been absolutely epic for me. He's been absolutely epic. I've I've really enjoyed him overall. Been a really strong card for me. And I didn't think I would love him. I only completed him because we had to sell taps of a future stars to be able to buy Eto, and I had enough fodder to get him done. But I've absolutely loved this card. But I, I will definitely go back to someone else. I mean, this is one I'm hoping like Tapsaba gets a team of the the community team of the season or Emre Chan or Mukiele or somebody like that that we can replace him. But I've he surprised me. I mainly only did him just to have someone out there decent for a, you know a few games or for rivals or something like that until I got some more stuff. James says the new icons are ripoffs, although Del Piero isn't too bad. Del Piero is actually the one I would stay away from. He's the best value overall. Bale or Salah, if you're looking at, if it's one of the boosted versions of Salah, he's not too bad. But actually, personally, if you're talking about a gold card, I prefer gold Lucas Mora to gold Salah. Although in some drafts recently, I've had some boosted Salah cards, and those have been quite good. Favorite player in my squad, let's see, who's the favorite player in my squad? It's still got to be Neymar. Neymar still just does everything for us. But there's nobody that I dislike. Atal has been really good. I didn't sell him. I think he's my last big tradable card. So that's the, and he has dropped so much. I think we paid five hundred thousand for him. We paid five hundred and twenty thousand for him. Last I looked, he was like three sixty. He's probably even down from there because everybody's just selling everything. Let's see. So there's like three seventy. So like three seventy at least for Atal. So absolutely amazing card. Adam said finished on eighteen wins despite the. Poor finish, hoping for gold one next week. There you go, Adam. There you go, brother. We're going to try. I mean, we'll be going for elite finishes during team of the season because you get those premium team of the season packs, which are absolutely epic. That's going to be a huge, huge, insane boost for the team. 
Let's see, team of the season, Lautaro has already given you nightmares. His 89 in form is too insane. Yeah, that'll be, it's going to be so much fun when we get some of these team of the seasons. I'm actually, this is the most I've ever been excited for a team of the season community squad. Generally, the community squads are weaker overall, but I feel like there's some really good defenders out there. There's a couple, like if Emery Chan gets a center back card, would be really nice. The Juan Basaka could be a really nice defender. Tapsaba could be a really good defender. Mukiele could be a really good defender. That Valverde card could be really, really strong. So, I mean, I feel like there's a couple really nice community team of the season options that could be really nice. But it's, all, it's just going to be so much fun. I've heard a lot of speculation, too, that they're going to try to, instead of giving out so many 98s and 99s and 97s, that they're going to try to scale it back a little bit and maybe not make the team of the season cards as OP. I guess we will see for sure. We do have over 30 packs saved, so we've got to replenish a lot of that. Plus, I still have marquee matchups to complete, both the UCL marquee matchups and the regular marquee matchups. Team of the season makes it so hard to defend. That's when you start to feel helpless at the back. I understand that ping. I understand that, brother. I mean, but you also got we're going to be getting better defenders too, defenders that can run with people. But let's take a look at the new Icon SBCs. I probably won't do any foot champs today, Shadow. We may actually play a draft because I've got some coins. I want to get some more um, tradable packs saved up. So maybe we'll go into a draft in a little bit. Definitely save your 83 times 10 TLR. That's another one we've got to complete. That's another one we have to complete. All right, let's go over here to our... Get rid of that. Let's get Prime Icon upgrade out of our favorites. For anyone who wasn't here, first and foremost, subscribe down below. Check the description. Join my Discord server. Do what Toxic Pete says. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that ding-dong bell, people. But for anyone who wasn't here, we've done four Prime Icon upgrades in the last four days. Pack number one, we do our roulette. We've always come down to the top nine, but we go to England, we get John Barnes. Poop. Then we go to our next one, and you still have tons of fodder in the club. So we do one more, we get Ashley Cole. So then he's actually in my starting team now. Solid card overall. You could call it a minor L, you could call it a minor dub, whatever you want to call it. If they make your starting 11, I feel like that's at, at minimum a minor dub. So I'm happy with that. We got Ashley Cole. I was done with Prime Icon upgrades. Then in our Discord, so I blame Danilo and I blame Josh. Danilo packs Cruyff from his Prime Icon upgrade pack, just does one. Then Josh does his third Prime Icon upgrade, packs Pele. So I'm like, okay, maybe the third one is the charm. So we run it all through, run it all through yesterday, and we get Pirlo from a Prime Icon upgrade. And we say, let's see, where is it? I gotta find it. We say, no, 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 son. We's leaving the game. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We ain't going down like that, son. We ain't going down like that. So we say we're not going out like that, son. That we do one more, run it back, and we get Prime Chavi to wrap it up. And I'm just done with icons because we honestly, we could have completed Essien today. We could have completed Essien today had we not done, I think even if we hadn't done those other two, but let's take a look at what we've got. We've got Del Piero. Let's look at stats first and foremost. Adam says he may do Essien after Prem team of the season if you don't get a good team of the season. That, that could be a good idea. I'm thinking of still doing Essien just because I really, really like Vidal, and I think both Foot Birthday Vidal and Foot Birthday Renato will have usability during Team of the Season, and you may want to look to replace them at some point, but uh, the, just the way they move, the way they play in game is going to be nice, but let's take a look at each of them. Exactly, unknown guy, that's exactly what I was going to say about Del Piero, though. The main thing that scares, scares me about Del Piero, yes, he's got the five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, which is certainly more than usable, I would also do Dalgleish, Tyrone, but I've, I've got his prime version. I may just pay homage to King Kenny, and you know we may we may do moments Kenny as well, just to pay tribute to him. Because you got to remember, we're going to be starting to have 94s, 95s, 96s just falling from the sky, raining down on us. So we're going to be able to knock some of these out pretty easily within the next month or so. So I may end up doing moments Kenny as well, but. The biggest thing that scares me about Del Piero is 86 agility, 67 balance. Now, the 86 agility is not bad. He's got good enough shooting that you could put an engine on him. 
but then his pace doesn't really get up to that high levels. And at team of the season time, you're really you're starting to look not only just for 90 pace, you're looking for 95, 96, 97 pace because we're going to have so many guys that can just fly. So it's going to be noticeable if you've got some people out there that like if you put an engine on Del Piero, he's 91 acceleration. 89 sprint speed, which may not cut it at team of the season time, but I feel like he needs that dribbling boost. I, I wish they would come out with a new Kim style that was pace and dribbling, like you know, a, like Hunter is pace and shooting, Catalyst is pace and passing. I, w I wish there was one that was just pace and just dribbling. I think that would be, you know, that'd probably be a 25,000 uh, coin Kim style, but that that would be absolutely amazing. Hey, yo, Kakich, how you doing, brother? Tyrone just in the middle of the silver sensations doing it with a friend. There you go. Nice Tyrone. Yeah, definitely keep your packs at minimum until Friday. But that's my biggest problem with Del Piero. I mean, other than that, it's an exceptional card. Stamina is a little bit poor, but because also at team of the season time, we're going to have so many cards. That's, that's the other thing that changes with it is like you start running up and down the pitch with everyone because you end up with so many people that are 95, 96, 97 stamina, and you know, even up to 99 stamina. So you got players that can just bomb up and down the pitch all day. So even 84 stamina starts to become a little poor. But is anyone from the team of the year outdated? I wouldn't say they're outdated gens. I think most of them would still be pretty good. We will open up packs during team of the season. We would probably, I may open up several during the community squad, Adam. It's going to depend on who gets in there, but we will probably open up several packs during during the community squad. But let's see what Del Piero requires. Now he's actually reasonably priced, so that's that's what Del Piero does have going for him. You know, this bronze and silver, you know, whatever on that, whatever on that. You know, you can get that done. Don't even really count that one. So then an 83 with the team of the week, 85 with the team of the week. Now what I do like, notice it's team of the week or foot champs player. So team of the weeks are so hard to come by, but if you've got some of those red player picks, that is the foot champs player. So that works pretty good. And Bobby had so many packs saved until the Icon SBC came out. AMA did loan Essien. He is amazing with, with Vidal. Yeah, I think, I think they would all work really well together. I'm thinking about doing Essien to replace Vidal and play Essien and Renato. Or maybe I would do Essien, Renato, and Vidal. I don't know for sure. But we'll talk about Essien a little bit more because I had prime Essien for a long time last year. And we'll talk about that. Hey, JGH, I don't remember if I said hi or not, but... Then we have an 85, 87, and 86, and that's it. And honestly, that is not that hard to complete. I mean, when we just did our icon packs, was it, was it 87, 86, 83, or was it 86, 85, 83? Whatever it was, basically, the, if it's, I think it was 86, 85, 83. So this was like our prime icon pack right here. Add an 87, and then these two, like, nothing squads and you've got del piero moments del piero complete so it's really a good value overall it's really a good value overall for del piero it's just he does scare me a little bit now again he may be one that we complete if we've got 95s laying around somewhere I always like to put together a full icon team at some point so he would maybe be fun for a full icon team I don't know that you would want him to be your main, main attacker for team of the season time or for end game times, but I know a lot of people like Del Piero, like like Italian players, so very fair deal. Essien, I would say, is also a, a very fair deal for what's coming out. We'll take a look at his stats. I was trying to remember, last year I was ready. I had Prime Essien. Now, of course, Moments Essien is a stepped up version from Prime Essien. And I will say, like, when I, I was playing with Moments Eto, and I felt like he was noticeably better than just a regular Prime. Let's see. Adam says, have I seen the new loading screen with Prim being matched up to Liga Nas and Bundesliga with Championship? Yeah, they, maybe they are changing the combinations. I haven't logged out of the game yet. I didn't see that. So maybe they are changing the combinations, Adam. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. I wonder what, how they will do, like, the timing. I wonder if it will still be the same, like, uh, Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, and all that type of stuff. Yeah, exactly, Keenan. Once team of the season is here and we're getting red 95 rated goalkeepers and we're doing guaranteed team of the season packs to get our duplicate goalkeepers and then we play another team of the season to get a third goalkeeper, I mean, it's going to be nice, nice, nice to be able to put those into our SBCs here. But I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to remember why I was ready to abandon Prime SEN last year. And that's the other thing that's crazy. Last year, we got Prime SEN out of Icon Swaps 2 at, in like, January, like February, maybe. I don't know, somewhere around in there. 
new Star Wars series out in just over two weeks. Going to be sick. Yeah, that that will be awesome. And Bobby, I'll be looking forward to that. Maybe that'll be one I'll just start on my on my own and not try to get my wife involved. Is Makalele better than Essien? I would rather have Essien personally because Essien is going to give you a little bit more in attack. I would say Makalele is a little bit more defensive, but I think Essien is just a little bit better movement. And let's see, James says, what do I think of the new Super League? I think it's a really terrible idea. I think that's kind of, now again, I, I'm American, so it's looking like they're trying to make it more like an American sport league. But I think it's just going to mess up with what makes European football beautiful, just that whole promotion relegation system. You know, like we've talked about with Stevenage, if I could take over Stevenage and take them from a League Two side to a Premier League side. And I love that. And it, like the Champions League is so special. Like that works so amazing is that that just the whole champions league setup you know finishing in these top four slots to make it to champions league i don't know it's just a really beautiful setup i hope they don't mess up mess it up jack says essien is a bit of a fifa fraud historically hopefully he's good this fifa well i, I really like that's what i was trying to remember jack i really liked essien last year was that essien's first year last year i'm trying to remember i don't remember essien being in the game before last year but anyway um I was ready to move on from SCN last year, and I don't remember who I replaced him with. I don't know if I played with him in the team of the season. I should probably go back and try to figure it out. And what I may, may be thinking is that it was his agility. Now, last year, agility was even more important than it is this year, so it was maybe the, the, the agility that was a problem. I don't really know for sure, but, I mean, if you look at these stats, it's similar to Del Piero. Everything but his agility is absolutely top-notch. You know, his finishing is a little poor, but you're not really going to ask him to get forward at all. I didn't even make it. To, I dropped him at team of the season. Okay, Jack. Jack's keeping me in check on that. So, like I said, I wish I could remember exactly what it was about him that made me feel like I wanted to move on from him. But you've packed every SEM, but you used his mid in your prime icon pack. I've got you, yo, Hackage. What is my level in weekend league? It just depends on what I play to. Right now, we're at gold two. We've got... I'll play to at least gold one. I don't know if I'll play to the 22 wins or not. I'll just have to see what, what we do. I'm glad you like the NWO emojis. Let's see. Josh, HDMI went out for five seconds and came back and supposedly forfeited the match due to inactivity. That's brutal. All right, no problem, Keenan. Thanks for being here, brother. But SEN, I think, would be a really strong card in game. He may be one. Like, and again... I, I, we're always really hard on loans. What I don't like is when people complete the loan cards and then just use them in friendlies and, you know, then their loan stays there forever. But Essien is probably a prime example of someone and all of these, you know, before you put a million coins of your club or not, you know, I want to say a million coins. I know you'll say you've got the fodder, you've got the fodder, but that's still capital from your club that you're submitting into an SBC. So, before, you know, even if you wanted Michael Ballack, which I wouldn't do Ballack, but maybe I should try Ballack out and see. But that's exactly what the loan would be for you. You know, try them out in your team before you before you do them. And that's what I, I actually did. I did that with Peter Schmeichel. I didn't even want to put, let's see, where is it? We're going through so many now. I completed the Peter Schmeichel loan, tried him out for three or four matches in Rivals just to make sure he wasn't a complete fraud because we've had like Peter Check in a draft before who's a complete fraud. Yashin's a complete fraud. So I wanted to at least try him out before I did him. Let's see. Oh, yeah. When I packed Aguero, that's when I dropped him when I went to a full prim team of the season team. I, that probably so, Adam. Probably you. Probably so. Oh, I know what you mean, Yo Hackage. Yeah, there, there's tons. There's supposed to be an Icon Swaps 3, Tyrone, but I don't know what the point's going to be. Everybody's going to be so into Team of the Season, and if they keep putting out the crappy Icons, now, I mean, if they give us another like Icon Moments pack or something like that, I'll do it. But as far as Essien goes, I don't know if we looked at the cost or not, but you know, same bronze, bronze and silver squads, an 82 rated squad, which is basically nothing with the Team of the Week or Foot Champs. Then we have an 83... 85, 86, 87, and 88. So I still say that's very reasonable for Essien if you want to bring him into your team. And maybe what we need to do is get that lone Essien, try him out, see how he feels. Maybe that's what we will do before, again, before you put all that value into your club. And just, and again, like I said, I don't mind if people use loan cards testing someone out because then that's actually doing what the loan is. It's bringing the actual contract value down to the loan. You can only try him out for those five matches. I just hate it when people do it. Like it was it was a bigger problem earlier in the year when like people had terrible squads, but then they would just bring on loan and bape, loan and bape, loan and bape. 
You think EA should allow us to try any card before buying, but at the same time, you think it will affect the market? Yeah, that, that's true, AMA. That's true. But, you know, ultimately, I think this is a reasonable price for SEN, and we very well may end up completing them. The next one is the one I'm most interested in, and I'll show you guys the main reason. I I got Prime Kenny Dalgleish from our mid or Prime Icon player pick, I don't know, two months ago, whenever that was. So let's see what Kenny has done for us. So we've had Kenny in our club, played him in a multitude of... of uh, of areas right now when I'm playing the 4-2-3-1, I had Eto as my striker, I had Kenny as a lamb, and because he can play anywhere because with a hunter, even the prime one goes to 99 pace with 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. His shooting is top notch. Uh, I mean, 282 games, 262 goals, 161 assists. All of that would be either division one or weekend league. So I mean he's been been very exceptional for us. At times, he outplayed Eto, which is one of the reasons I decided to sell Eto because there were times that Dal Gleish was actually outperforming Eto. So, and Eto, we paid 3.4 million coins for at the time. So that was one of the reasons. Like recently, it just seemed like this this weekend league, especially that. I don't know if we'll play any champs today, Adam. I'm, I may finish mine up tonight. We may do a draft though. I'm, now that I've got some coins, I want to try to get some more tradable packs for uh for team of the season sam said he packed his icon moments a few weeks ago and he's so good he literally yeah i i, I agree with you on that sam he's just he buries everything the one thing I, i'll tell you the biggest negative with dalgleish and you know other people may play differently i'm a big passer of the ball with my strikers dalgleish does let me down with his passing from time to time and his passing stats now his short passing stat is not horrible at 85 and long passing you really shouldn't have to do all that often now maybe there's a time when your striker comes back to midfield and you've got like a cam running off of him or something that you may need to do a long pass but more often than not you're going to be doing a short pass but it's his passing does let me down from time to time but i pass as i would say more than most players do with their striker so Keep that in mind. That's my biggest negative with him. He moves well. You can see there he's already got 92 agility, 90 balance. I believe on the moments, everything is basically plus two. So, But we'll take a look at that in just a second. But Dow Gleesh, absolutely epic card. I definitely recommend him. And I may end up, even though it's probably not the smartest thing to do since we already have his prime, this would be more once we've got lots and lots. You know, we've got 96 you know, 596 rated goalkeeper sitting on our bench. Maybe then we'll look at completing moments now, Gleesh, just to have him into the team. Your defo qu quitting ultimate team after team of the season. Well, I'm hoping, Sophia, now last year after team of the season, they gave us summer heat. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping they bring back summer heat. That was like the most fun of all last year. But let's, go, let's take a look at, at King Kenny stats. 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. I'd have to play around with it, but I would probably put an engine on him. And then because his shooting stats are already so massive where they are, I think you would put an engine, make him 98 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. His agility would be 99. His balance would be 99. His reactions would still be out of this world. That would also boost my biggest fault with him, which is his passing. So, you know, it's just... I just feel like ultimately that engine would make this card even next level because I'm playing a hunter on his prime, which then that doesn't boost his passing or his dribbling. With the engine, his pace would suffer just slightly, be one less acceleration, three less sprint speed. But with that passing and dribbling boost and with that shooting, this card would be absolutely next level. I would really, really look forward to bringing Moments Dal Gleesh into the club. Now, he is the one that's the worst deal, I would say, and that's because one section is an 89-rated squad, and 89-rated squads are very expensive. They're only giving you back a mega pack for that, too. That's pretty brutal. I think on Essien's 88, they gave you a mega pack, too. Let me just check that. On Essien's 88, they're giving you a mega pack. So it used to be, too, in the good old days of FIFA, they used to give you, like, rare players packs, jumbo rare players packs for some of these. So it made it more worthwhile. You'd, you'd maybe be like, okay, this is a 400,000 coin SBC segment, but we're getting a 100,000 coin back pack back. Now we're getting, like, mega packs back where you're hoping you get, like, a, a position modifier that's 5,000 coins. The stream pausing. Let me know if we get anything else going on. Let me see if I've got anything or if it's. Let's see. I'm not showing anything dropping. Maybe try refreshing AMA. Maybe try refreshing brother or, or someone else. Let me know if it's messing up. 
But 89 rated, 80, 88 rated, no, we're back on Essien. Uh, Dalgleish has an 89 rated section and 88 rated section. So 89, 88, 85, 87. Okay, good. Thanks for letting me know, Yo Hackage. Uh, 84. On this one, I didn't even notice that one. Dom, they've got this section just for you. You have to have a Celtic player in this one with an 80 rated squad. And you get back a premium Electra players pack. There's King Kenny with a Liverpool player, but I, I think we will. Now, this isn't going to be the priority. The priority of any of them would be Essien, and maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe when we play Rivals this week, maybe we'll get lone Essien and try him out, see what he will do for us. I think that would be maybe be worthwhile to try him out. But, you know, as far as the rest of them, it's nice to see see that they are coming out with some of them, some of the better ones. That gives me some hope that at some point... Probably the day before FIFA 22 drops, they will release Moments, Hullet, Moments R9, Moments Eusebio, and Moments Cruyff the day before FIFA 22 drops. It's probably probably what will happen, but it, and you only have one day to complete them, probably. But that that's what I'm looking forward. AMA says Real Madrid are struggling. Oh my gosh, Cucarella, Cucucachu is doing it. So what? Yeah, Christian. Once Team of the Season starts, for anyone that's new here, the way it works. Uh, when you play now, you definitely want to try to play weekend league Christian because the red player picks that you get from weekend league are no longer team of the week. We will still have team of the weeks, but the red picks you get will be from the league's team of the season of, of that week. So, you know, even if you get a goalkeepers, you know, sometimes that's what you see. I keep kind of joking that we'll get, get more goalkeepers, but you know, if you start getting those 95 rated goalkeepers and, are 94 rated from the second league of what you know 93 rated cha uh, championship player or something like that plus the cost goes way down so instead of like right now let's see it's probably even way down what it is for sure but let's see like let's just take a look right now what is like someone like Lewandowski going for I don't even know I haven't looked in, in ages and this is down massively from where he's been but let's just see 60,000, no, so look, somewhere between 60 and 70,000, we will start having like 93, 94 rated cards for like 30 and 40,000 coins, so it's just going to be a lot cheaper to buy them, uh, there's just going to be a huge influx of them, we're going to have SBCs where you get team of the seasons, exactly JGH, exactly JGH, so it's going to make it massively easier. I think Del Piero would be a good cam. I think Del Piero is a solid card. The main thing, what I would say again on those, I would uh, I would recommend doing the loan version because for me personally on Del Piero, I would be scared of his agility. His agility looked a little bit brutal, but let's see what what were we what were we at on Del Piero? But Del Piero looked like a really good value. But take advantage of the loans on those. Those those are the ones that are worthwhile to do a loan on. Because, you know, you just don't want to end up putting that much value into a player and then not liking him. Yeah, it was his balance. His balance was I was a little bit worried about that. And he's not a tall player, which is weird. Like, sometimes you see someone like Ebra, who's six foot four, and maybe he has 80 agility, but then his balance is like 50. And that's kind of like a way to, to even the playing field on these taller players so they can't just bully everyone off. You make their balance a little bit poor, so maybe they fall off the ball a little bit. But it's it's like I don't understand why Del Piero's balance is so poor. But try him out and see. Other than that, his stats look pretty good. Now, our, the, my other problem was if you put an engine on him to try to boost his balance, then that's not really boosting his pace as high as you wanted to. Now, maybe as a cam, that would be high enough. I don't know for sure. That I don't know for sure. But that's one. Definitely take advantage of some of these loan opportunities. Try them out in your team. See how you like them. Like, you know, instead of just... You know, before you complete them, I would recommend doing that on, on any of them. Just make sure you like how they fit in your team. Much, much better than, than wasting wasting so much of your squad capital. But I guess let's go into a draft for anyone. I'll just show it again. For anyone that doesn't know, we did end up selling our Moments SEN. We took a pretty big bath on it. Lost about a million coins overall on Eto. But if I would have waited even longer, I would have lost even more. Last I looked, he was like in the 2.3 range. I guess we'll take a look at where he at, is at. Uh, Essien uh, will be, uh, what I was saying on Essien, Toby, basically it looks really strong. I would recommend trying out his loan card just to see what he will do. It's Pi yeah, we need to make sure to keep Pyx far away. Alright, let's see. What is Eto going for now? Oh my gosh. We sold I'm I'm lucky. I'm fortunate I sold him yesterday. 
I'm still, I should have sold them. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. I should have sold them. I knew when Player Days came out that that's what always happens. You have people get all these, people that normally don't buy packs are buying packs because they're two for one. People are spending coins. So we're getting so many things onto the market. So we got more moment, more moment supply. But my goodness, my goodness gracious. We would have lost even more on Eto. Gosh, 2.19. It's almost getting down to where I'd buy them back. Should we just buy them back? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. But let's go into a draft. We always have fun doing a draft. And I want to get some more tradable packs. Get Chris Smalling. I have always thought, I've talked about that, Yo Hackage. The Chris Smalling what if card. Does, every time I've come across him, he's been a been a rock at the back. I've never had a chance to really play with him outside of drafts. But let's do a draft. Let's do a draft. I want to get some more nice tradable packs into the team. What formation do we want? Four four twos always fun. Three four one two could be fun. Flying pig really doesn't like the super league. Well, again, for anybody, this I know it's getting a lot of press right now, but they've been talking about the super league for ages and it's never come to fruition. So I think sometimes they just kind of put it out there to give them, them give these top clubs a little bit more leverage. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. But you know, it it is what it is. Tempted to do a four three three. Sometimes having that width in a draft comes in handy. Four four two is also a lot of fun. Um, let's do a four four two. I think four four two could be fun. Four four two is a good formation. All right, what are we gonna take? If you see somebody you want to take, there we go. There's a team of the year right off the bat. Big Lewandowski out there. I feel like we have to take Lewandowski unless there's any. JGH wanted me to take the four three three. We've already got the four four two. I know there's a little bit of a delay from when I do this until it comes, but. Yeah, I feel like we have to take Lewandowski here. I wonder if there would have been a different result if Bayern would have had Lewandowski instead of Chupo Moting for, for their Champions League match. Hey, Stenty, how you doing? You've got the Toxic Pete opening. We need that. Yo, 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 Toxic Pete here. We need some more Toxic Pete. I need another Toxic Pete video. But Lewandowski with a Hunter, what more could you ask for there? What more could you ask for? All right, what are we going for next? We need some, man, it'd be nice if we could get like Kimmich, Team of the Year, or that Goretzka. Oh, I miss Goretzka. Goretzka Headliners was one of my favorite cards all year. What else can we get? Oh my God, what is that? Exactly, Muller should get a card. They, they should give him something. What is this garbage? I mean, nobody here. I mean, maybe Dutch links would come in handy for something. I don't know. I don't know. Packs for Team of the Season right now are about 32, but I haven't finished marquee matchups, either the UCL or the regular, so that'll take us up to like 37. We'll have Squad Battles rewards soon. You know, we'll have our Division One rewards. We'll have two more Ultimate Packs. We'll have our Weekend League rewards. We should be over 50 packs by the time we actually open, if we do open at Community Time. Uh, all right, take care, Snows. Thanks for being here, brother. All right, so we got one amazing pick, one horrible one. Let's see what we can get over here on this side. Uh, ooh, there's my boy Atal. There's my boy Atal. Now we are getting the Lynx, boys. We got the Bundesliga. We got the Eredivisie. We got League Un. We are linking it up like a boss. But uh, we got to take a tall. I've really, really enjoyed a tall. He's a really, really good card. For anybody who was here with me last year, you will know I played a tall's team of the season card on four or five chemistry. I don't remember if we got him to five or what it was. But that's how much I love a tall. And a tall is absolutely exceptional. People would always be like, why are you playing a tall on four or five? But he was still better than anyone else could have been at that, at that position. All right, so that's at least a good card. What can we take over here, Striker? We need some Bayern Munich links. No good links. My boy, Alex Teixeira, who I do love. My starter team legend. Alex Teixeira is always my starter team legend. Or do we take Zaha with his five-star skills? What does Teixeira does not have five-star skills on this one, does he? Four-star, four-star. Zaha, five-star skills. I want to say, is he three-star, three-star weak foot? Zaha or starter team legend Alex Teixeira. Ray, you haven't been joined. You've been busy every day with football. I understand that, Ray. I understand that, brother. 
Yeah, Zaha would be a little bit easier to link. You've got Premier League, you've got Ivory Coast, you've got Ireland, you've got lots of different ways. Uh, Bobby wants me to take Pookie. I would, I would like to take Remy. Remy t always takes me back to some good FIFA memories. R Remy used to be one of, when he was at Chelsea, he would be one of my starter team legends. All right, we'll take Zaha. We're, we're going to go through. We're going to see if we can get red all the way around. Can we just have red links all the way across the board? Make Pyox really happy with red links all the way across the board. Here we go. Sun, Zambo, and Gisa would at least link to Zaha. Fellaini. Fellaini lost all his power when he lost his hair. Zaha is an Irish mystic. What are you talking about? He is definitely Irish. Look at the flag. Zaha, clear, Ivory Coast, Irish blood in him. Yo, Hakic was a very happy boy when you got moments, Giroud, out of your team today. I've got you. You keep your, keep your, yes, keep your Premier League pack, Ray. Keep your Premier League pack. Keep your Premier League pack. Save it. That's why they're giving us these packs so that you save them for that team of the season. So make sure you save them overall. Let's take, maybe we can get a link for... Gosh, I don't want any of these guys on my team anyway. Is 17,800 enough to guarantee rank one and rivals? It just depends on what division. I would say that is AMA. I mean, if for division one, you only have to get like 14,000. So 17,800 is, is pretty big. 24 likes already. Really appreciate it. Exactly. Zaha that drinks Guinness 1 million percent Irish. Or do we take, gosh, what do we take here? All right, all right, everybody wants Fellini. Let's get Fellini into the club. You can't go wrong with red links in a draft. You cannot go wrong with red links in a draft. Oh, there we go. There's Bamba. Ooh, Rashford. I like Bamba and I like Rashford. Rashford would break our string, though, of red links. That's the only problem. Oh, no, Pyox is here. We, we were trying to get all red links for Pyox. We were trying to get all red links for Pyox. So maybe now we should take Bamba for the extra red link. Maybe we should take Bomba for the extra red link. We'll show Pyox how you want to draft on 40 Kim. We'll show Pyox how you want to draft on 40 Kim. Kostic, sick, weak foot and skill, son. Three-star skills. You can ball roll. You can fake shot stop. You can do hill to hill. That's about it. That's about it. Bomba for the red link. Maybe so. Bomba. I gotta take my boy Rashi. Rashi can save the draft for me. Rashi can save the draft for me. We'll take Rashi. Now we get Luke Shaw right here. We get Luke Shaldini right here. We'll actually get some links. Nope. We get Chilwell. Chilwell would give us the links, but he's not playable. Schultz would give us a link to Lewandowski nowhere. Um, Pack saved are right at 32 right now, Ray. But um, but we should have over 50 by the time by the time we actually open up our packs. Uh, camera if we end up getting Neymar could help. Could, we could take Chilwell for the links, but Chilwell's not playable. Let's keep our red links. If we would have taken Bamba, though, we would have had a strong link to camera. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's flip Lewandowski and Zaha, get our red link game. You made a good CDM build. Good job, Pyox. Good job. All right, here we go. Can we keep our red link gang going? Alaba with a shadow. We could take him. That would still be red links to everybody. That would still be red links to everybody. All right, here we go. Let's take big ol' uh, I guess if we're gonna have any chance of saving the draft with any Kim, we better start taking some decent picks. Or do y'all just wanna go with the full red link and see what we do? If you wanna just do the full red link and see what we do, we can do that. If we wanna do the full red link, we can see what we can do with full red links. I don't mind. All right, we wanna do the, all right, we're gonna do the no Kim draft. We're gonna do the no Kim draft and let's take O block here. We're gonna do the full no chem draft, see what we can do with no chem all across the board. Yeah, do a, well, I mean, I, I feel like they need to at least be in their positions. You can play with them on four. Now they're still gonna get those negative boosts, so it's gonna it's gonna make it really brutal. It will make it brutal. Uh, who should we take here? 
Hinteregger, well, he would link with Alaba. That would be a strong link to Alaba. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? They're trying to make us have a link. Okay, let's take Maripan. Also, 45 pace. And take a look at this. That 45 pace will go down to 35 pace, son. That 35 pace, 45 pace will go down to 35 pace, fool. All right, see what else we can get. Uh, ooh, we could try out this new Bruno Perez. He doesn't link to anybody. Upgraded to 88. Um, we our problems are are too far deep in pro clubs, Piox. I've tried to solve our problems in pro clubs for a long time. We just have everybody wants to run to the ball. That that's the main problem. That's the main problem. All right, here we go. A full red link team, 44 chemistry. Watch watch how this goes. Rashi's not 95 pace. He's more like 85 pace, son. So we're going to have our work cut out for us on this one, but it, it, it'll be fun. We'll try it out. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can have some decent super subs. Uh, take the MLS boy. Take the MLS boy. We'll try this one. We may end up losing in the first round of the draft, and then we can just try another one. Ooh, there's my boy, Alfonso Davies. At least if he went from 99 to 89 pace, he could still run a little bit. So let's take my boy, Alfonso Davies. And here we go. Let's go on to the next one. It's more just too many people get in the wrong areas, Pyox. That's, that's the main thing. People just, everybody wants to get into the ball. I guess there's too much congestion when you're trying to attack. There's just not enough people to support the defense. All right, what are we going to take here? Let's take, Yohakic used half his team for a party bag and got Loon. And, and in the next pack, he, oh my gosh. And then he got prime moments, Carlos Alberto. That was, that was nice. That is nice. All right, here, let's take Ashley Cole. I just got it. I got to stick to my boy, Ashley Cole. Could be another good super sub. Could be another good super sub. We just packed Ashley Cole. Uh, ooh, there we go. There's Pele. We got Pele. Pele's on watch. Now, he can't come into the team because he would have some links, but we could bring him on as a super sub. We could bring him on as a super sub. See what else we can get. Got to take Muller. Muller came up with Lewandowski, so we've got to have Muller on the team. TLR says swap Alaba and Monaco guy and use Davies. Okay. May, maybe we could do that. Maybe we could do that. We will see. Okay. Let's take um, Di Maria here. Let's take Hernandez here. For the rest of them, we're just going to take whoever's in the number one slot. Oh my gosh. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? I said it though. I said it. I said it. I said it. So we got to do it. I said we're going to take whoever's in the number one slot. And who do they give us? Freaking record breakers and Bappe. So, but we got to take Bernardoni. He's in the first slot. He's in the first slot. Up next, Aspilicueta. We had Messi and Mane. Brutal. Brutal. But we got to take Aspilicueta. Next one. Ah, oh, Hoiberg, we've got the Spurs. We've got the Spurs love showing with Hoiberg and that beautiful pace. Maybe he'll get a team of the season. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Lozano, there we go. That's a decent first pick. That's a decent. There's my boy Kulu, but we'll take Irving Lozano, big Chucky Lozano over there. And last pick, doesn't really matter. And all right, so let's see what we got. We want Chucky to be a super sub. Put Chucky over there. We'll swap one Mexicano for another Mexicano. That will work out perfectly. And let's see, what can we do? Can we make this any better in the midfield without getting any links? Can we get this any better in the midfield without giving up links? So if I put that links to Zaha, gosh, I need something. I need to mess up my links though. PLR, so yeah, we could put camera, so that, that's probably a good one. We could put Davies here, and then we could switch Alaba and this guy. Then, gosh, do I have another? I'd, I'd almost rather have, can I have Aspilicueta there? Aspilicueta wouldn't get any links, would he? Aspilicueta can at least run a little bit better than the 45 pace guy. And Aspilicueta would only be on 2 Kim, so we're rocking right there. We're rocking right there on 2 Kim. Um, gosh, I'd like to have a little bit more in the midfield. Can we put Lozano here? Would at least run a little better. Fellaini's got to start. Fellaini's got to start. Lozano only has his pace dropped by 18. 
So 98 going down to 80, that's only dropping it a little bit. So 98 minus 18 goes to 80, 80. We're doing a full red link squad in Bobby. We're doing full red links. We're going to see what we can do with full red links. You got to try out a few different things. You got to keep the game a little fresh. You got to try something out. Now, is there anything better we can do? Muller would completely mess up our red link there. That would be a strong link, and we can't move Zaha over. We actually have some decent players. I mean, I feel like I could be competitive. I feel like I could be competitive. Well, especially, we could bring Pele off the bench. All right, sounds good, Yo Hackage. Thanks for being here, brother. Because, look, it's crazy. You almost want your better players on the bench. Is that right? That seems like that's messed up. Pella, you're getting less of a... I've never even really messed around with this, to be honest. You're getting less of a decline by being on the bench. All right, so let's see. All right, let's see who are... Can we get a manager that doesn't boost anybody? Yes, there we go. An Argentinian manager that does not boost anybody. Perfect. Lalini, you are the man to lead this team. You are the man to lead this team for sure. I want to take a look at that again. We may want some of our best players on the on the bench, actually. Because, let's see. Let's just see if that's right. So, if we go over here, Pele. Yeah, Pele's not even getting that bad of a, of a penalty. But Chucky Lozano is losing 13 pace. So, I think we want our better players, actually... Because, like, Lewandowski's, Lewandowski's only losing five. Okay, Lewandowski's only losing five. I can deal with that. Rashi's only losing five. I, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Davies is losing five. I can deal with that. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Now, Aspilicueta, how much is he losing? Losing 13. So he's going down to where he's almost as slow as our 45 pace guy anyway. Hmm. Should we play Hoiberg? Or Aspilicueta. Crazy. Aspilicueta is faster than Hoiberg. What is going on? Uh, 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 can we put Victor Diaz? No, that links with O block. We can't do that. Um, can I put Camera out there? That would be. Oh, that would be beautiful. That would be. be oh, that. Now we're looking good, boys. Hayek says we need to lose two Kim. I don't know where else we can lose two Kim from, but I know what we can do. We can put. We can put him out there as if we're going to sub him in the middle. Oh, why does that only lose one? Oh, because oh, they must be the manager from that league. My goodness. My goodness. What is going on? Can I put Di Maria? Di Maria actually goes, oh, oh because he links with a tall. What is going on? We are losing it. That would take it to 39. This would take it. All right, that would be 40. All right, that would be 40. No, but then camera's got a link to... Di Maria, this is it's it's almost hard to get nothing but red links. It's hard to get nothing but red links. Can I put Moeller Al oh, Moeller? Oh gosh, we've got Moeller and Alaba. We've got Bayern Munich boys top and bottom. Now really, I would not mind bringing on Chucky Lozano as a super sub. If I have these three guys as super sub, that at least gives us something we can maybe work with. Pyx really wants it on 40. I don't know if we can get 40, and then that gives us a manager boost, apparently. I don't know. If I switch Lewandowski and Zaha All-Stars, then I get a link with Zaha and Rashi, and I don't want to, I'm trying to stay completely red-linked here. We're trying to do, like, a red-link challenge. Uh, all stars, you're completely missing the point here. You're completely missing the point, brother. Neil thought he was coming in here and saving the draft, saving our lives, saving the team. Can I put? If I do that, that makes it 39. I don't know. Let's just go with our 42. What we had, we'll just go with that. That's giving us no links. I, I, I'm not even. We're not even going to put any tactics. No tactics either. Red links, no tactics. Let's see what happens. Red links, no tactics. We'll see what happens. See if we can overcome this challenge. See if we can overcome this challenge. This will be almost as hard as the time I played. I did a, uh, when I played with my, when I had my wife play the first half.
Hayax is saying Dominguez left CM. Where is Dominguez? Who am I missing? Payax. I'm not sure. Let's just go into a match. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, this this one's probably going to be harder than the time. I, oh, I've got a video on the channel I did about a year ago or, or more. I don't, I don't know for sure. Where I had my wife play the first half of a draft and I played the second half. I'm trying to get her to do another draft video with me. We'll see if I can convince her to do it. All right, see if we can find someone that can handle the smoke. Here we go, here we go, here we go, son. Our ping is about as high as our chemistry. All right, going up against CR794, chemistry with Phil. Now, Phil Jones does terrify me. Phil Jones does terrify me, I do have to say. I am pretty terrified of Phil Jones out there. That is very scary. Very scary overall. Oh, okay. What are we going to do? We need to make some changes in the midfield. All right, so we want to bring on Pele. We want to bring on Chucky. I kind of wish I'd have just started. I should have brought a tall, I don't know, maybe off somewhere. What else were we going to do? Can we bring Ashley Cole... Let's just wait and see. Let's just see what happens. We still have Ashley Cole in the back back pocket. Still have Ashley Cole in the back pocket. Oh, uh, Fellaini. Oh, Fellaini in game still has his hair. I didn't realize that. Fellaini has not had his hair updated in game. I did not know that at all. So Fellaini's got superpowers in game. He just doesn't have it on his image. Fellaini trying to run it back. Run it back, Fellaini. Come on, Fellaini. Get those legs churning, brother. Get those legs churning, brother. Oh, my goodness. Give up a header early? Are you kidding me? De Bruyne with a header? I don't think he's ever scored a goal with a header in his life. De Bruyne whipping it in with his head. All right, we got our super subs on. Let's see what we can do now. Probably should have moved Rashi to a striker. Maybe we'll do that at some point. Well, oh, I guess I was going to say, what was that pass? I guess when you have your passing dropped by 13 or however much it was, is going to affect your passing. O-Block can still catch, though. O-Block can still catch. We're looking good. No. All right, we got an offside call. We got to get we got to get some goals, boys. Got to build this up a little bit better. Thank you, Mbabu. Got the big Zlatan top rocking and rolling today.
thankfully offside there. Thankfully, we've still we're still in this. We're finding hard. There, there is a noticeable difference. Like everybody feels like a lot stiffer than normal. Like the passes are going a little bit more astray. They don't move as fast. So there is a pretty noticeable difference. Ah, we're off there. That would have been a goal, though. That would have been a goal. Maybe just the boys needed to see one in the back of the net. No, that's such a weak goal. My gosh, both of our goals have been so weak to concede from a corner and from that early nonsense from the header. Such nonsense. We're going to have to make some changes at the half, I feel like, if we're going to be able to come back. Not where I'm wanting passes to go. Like we're so slow on recovery too, it's crazy. Not get anything going because they cannot control the ball. Hey, Jack, how you doing, brother? Even the directional nutmeg is slow. Cannot drop any passes in either. The passing is very noticeable. I'm surprised how, how crazy the passing has changed. You're two-thirds done on Dallas. All right, very nice, and Bobby. You're getting close to finishing on Dallas. Very nice, brother. All right, let's see. Let's make a couple changes here. Let's put Zaha over here. Put Rashi there. Need to get some more overall, but I think Rashi up top would help. I'm tempted also to put Pele up top. I don't know for sure. We'll just we'll test it out. See what we'll, see what we can do. I still need to finish that Dallas card in Babu. But yeah, I'm, I'm mainly surprised the passing is so noticeably different with the with that reduction. Now, the passing is already poor. They've ever since FIFA 19, they've really hurt the passing, but it's even more noticeable in this one.
and it's also dribbling is very noticeable like they don't acquire the ball to their body that that well so it takes them even longer to get that get up and go on there As everything's blasting in now. At least the guy we're playing is having a good time, getting to enjoy his his celebrations. It'd be fun. Th those are the ones I wish I could like change at halftime to some chemistry and just come back and smash them. But we won't be able to play him again. And he's probably like a Division Four player that I'd never face. Oh my gosh, another one off sides. Just can't do that fast passing. We have had two off sides goals at least. Man, it's slow. Even like I said, directional nutmegs are even like it's interesting the things that are slower. Like we just did a directional nutmeg there that was so much slower than than what a uh, that eighty nine Rashi would normally do. It's been an interesting experiment to at least see what chemistry does impact. We'll have to try this challenge again. Now that you kind of know what to expect, though, I feel like you could maybe make some adjustments. We could also do some tactics that would maybe make this a little bit more. We went in with no tactics. But you maybe could, like, change your tactics around a little bit to at, at least have your fullbacks stay back because the, the pace at the back is such a killer. getting crushed boys i guess let's just go ahead and back out of this one it's a lost cause at this stage but we'll we'll try to have a real draft we'll see if we can end up getting a um maybe we'll get a draft token pack if not it'll be fine either way if we get a silver pack we'll open that up and we'll try to have a real draft because the ultimate goal was to can we get a draft token pack no draft token pack two gold packs and a premium silver players pack which actually is not a bad pack to get
Yeah, let's do let's do a real draft. Let's get some chem. It is crazy though. It's interesting. You hear people sometimes talk about that chemistry doesn't mean anything. And you know, you don't notice a big difference on say ten or eight. I didn't mean to put all of them down there. We're getting everybody out of whack. But you know, it's definitely a huge I think it's also the agility was really crazy. Like they were not moving at all. I don't know, just all oh, was just really interesting. I don't know if La Liga has some of these silvers are even so low at the moment too. Does La, La Liga's may be expired. Maybe we can play a friendly sometime, Pyox. There's just no guarantee we would match up at all. And I don't want I don't want to beat you in a draft, brother. I would feel bad about that. When you've got coins on the line. Uh, we'll just store all these here. I'm not, not really worried about it. Was that a Peru player? All right, let's play a real draft. Let's see if we can, because that was our ultimate goal, was to get some stuff going up. 5-2-1-2 could be interesting. 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one could be fun. 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one could be fun. Pyox, you have no chance of ever beating me, brother. Four, two, three, one. Three, four, two, one. Pena is a Peru player. I've got you, brother. Tempted to do. Let's do. God, no, let's just do this. Let's do four, four, one, one. That'll be fun. That'll be fun to try. Ooh, there's my boy. There's my boy. Rude Hullet showing up, son. Rude Hullet showing up, son. Uh, none of these I'm really interested in, though. Uh, let's just do Holland. Let's do Holland. Hopefully we can get someone better than Holland by the end. Hmm. Nothing that great here. Lazari could be interesting. We could maybe get some decent links for Lazari. Maybe we could take Sar, but he's just not going to be able to link up. I guess we have to take Lazare. He was is the best card that could potentially link up with someone. Midfield, what can we get? Guess we have to take Jenny, even though I don't really want to play Jenny. But Jenny will give the Dutch links to Hullet, so let's just go ahead and take Jenny. Frankie de Young would also give the Dutch links to Hullet, would give us two nice two-way midfielders in the middle of the park, so I think that could work out pretty nicely. Nothing here, really, that I'm interested in. We'll take the Bundesliga boy just for the Holland link, but probably won't end up with anything there. Pretty poor, pretty poor. We'll take Chilwell, but pretty poor overall. Man, this one's been as, almost as bad as the last one. We'll take Delaney. Delaney's the best card here. And he has a shadow. I don't know if we'll be able to get him linked up. Maybe we can move Holland back or get something linked up to get him on a little bit. But man, what a poor draft. We could take Boateng with an anchor for our keeper. Man, this is brutal. Absolutely brutal. What is going on with the draft? We start off with with Hullet, and since then it's just been absolute garbo. All right, Kyle Walker solid. Nobody to link to him except for Chilwell at the moment. Take Van Anholt. Jesus Navas. All right, Kimmich could be interesting. Douglas Costa could also be interesting. Douglas Costa would lose us the Dutch links. He would give a Bayern Munich link. Kimmich would give some nice links, but I don't really want to have to play him, but he would give that nice link to Boateng. 
Let's take Kimmich. Let's take Kimmich just to help out a little bit with some links. Do that over there. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with Jenny as well. God, this has been just a terrible draft. Take my American boy. All right, Mane, Orsic banned from the club for life. We'll take Mane, super sub, if nothing else. Bergwijn, Dutch, would give the strong link to Van Anholt as well. And we maybe will go back to Jenny Winaldum there to get him on 10. So now we've got Kimmich on 10. We've got everybody except for our right side reasonably sorted out. Everyone except the right side is reasonably sorted out. There we go. Pele is going to make a big difference. Gosh, I wish we would have had some of those other picks. I would love to have had Neymar or Kessie or something like that. But Pele is going to make a huge difference. I can put Pele here and I can put Hullet there. And that's going to help us out with some other links. Now we just have Kyle Walker looking for that is going to work out pretty nicely. Now, Jenny did lose his 10, so we'll have to think about that a little bit. Hayax, you have no chance in the world of ever beating me, brother. Dalot, that would give us a Serie A link. That gets us up to 96, Kim. Love, Kyle Walker, we can maybe bring on for defensive purposes. Overall, it's looking decent. It's, it's looking decent. It's definitely not a crazy squad by any means but it's certainly a usable squad uh, let's do that be maria there okay we got one more pick Everybody is on minimum seven at the moment. We can maybe play around with it a little bit more, see if we can get anything a little bit better. But overall, it's looking pretty strong. Ryan says, you dig the Icon SPCs today. Problems, they should have been out. Yeah, ex exactly, Ryan. They should have been out. Because that's it's one week before Team of the Season. So, I mean, that that's a big thing. The one good thing, though, about Team of the Season being here is that it will make the cost of them a lot cheaper. That We'll get some higher rated cards on the market. All right, now maybe we could do Mares and Kyle Walker, and that will give us a nice right side as well. Very nice, Simbabu. Very nice, Simbabu. You know, Lazari, I don't think he even makes it over here. So I think that is pretty solid overall. Delaney's a really strong card. I was maybe, I was kind of hoping, I may even bring on Dalot instead of Boateng. So I may bring on Dalot for Boateng. Um, Bergwine would still be on 10 if I brought on, I think I would rather have Frankie de Young than Wynaldum, I believe. Exactly, yeah, he could have, could have been, I agree with you, Ryan, that, that's been my biggest complaint with the Icon SBCs. Pack an Icon from the Team of the Season pack opening, that'd be epic, Danilo, that'd be epic. Now, I 100% I agree with you, Ryan, that's been the biggest problem with the Icon SBC section, is they haven't really given us that great of Icons. Now they finally give us some, like, they're not the top, top Icons, but they're that, like, next tier below the Hullets, below the R9s, below Eusebio, they're like that next tier down. We finally got them, and then we're still, you know, right before Team of the Season. It would, would have been nice to have them a little bit earlier. Could also, let's see, I could either bring on, I think I'll just bring on Dalot for Boateng. I think Kimmich could be a little slow. Who could I bring on for Kimmich? I mean, I could bring on Jesus Navas in the midfield. We have some options. We have some options. Okay, I'm not, this one's looking pretty decent. And as far as Kim... Who's going to give us the best Kim overall? I think that would give Kimmich something. I wish we had something. We don't have a Bundesliga manager. I'd love to give Delaney a little bit. Ajax, I've already destroyed you once. I don't know why you keep wanting to match up with me, brother. Uh, let's just go this route. Go this route. Liebernacht looks like he would know how to manage some men. All right, here we go. 
Doesn't matter whether it was on draft or not. I still know how to how to play. Um, Ryan, I I would save them until now. What I normally do, Ryan, is save them until the Premier League team of the season. But this year, I may open up several at the community squad. It will just depend on who gets released. Also, historically, it's easier to pack them at team of the season time. So, you know, uh, I mean, at community team of the season time than it is Premier League. And there's several of the community team of the season defenders that I'm really interested in packing. So, for example, like if Mukiele gets one or Emre Chan gets one or um, Tapsaba gets one, Juan Bissaka could be an amazing defender. So there's some really good team of the season defenders from the community squad. And last year at the Premier League team of the season, the defenders were pretty much garbage. Like there was the... Um, so Yanchu card was was reasonably strong, but there just weren't many great defenders. Now there was a Van Dyke, but he was super expensive. So I'm thinking the community squad may have some really good good cards. I could meet any football pundit in real life. Who would it be? Probably Roy Keane. Roy Keane would be the best one to meet, I think. All right, so we've got Hullet on ten, Pele on nine. All right, let's get some tactics for this one. Tactics for this one. Let's go seven depth. Lower our width down a little there and there and what are we doing? And there and there. And this slot. Yeah, Muki yeah, Mukiele would at center back would be great. Yeah, Tapsaba. I played with Tapsaba's future stars card and loved them, so I'm really looking forward to Tapsaba. All right, let's try that. Who is better, Dalglish moments or Butraguinho moments? I would say Dalglish moments is better than Butraguinho, and it's because uh, Dalglish also has the four-star skill moves. I would rather have the Dalglish. I have Dalglish Prime in my club, and I love Dalglish, the Prime card. I'll probably do the moments at some point as well, but... That that's not a priority since we already have Prime Dog Leash, but I'd love to have Moments Dog Leash into the club. Pyux has his draft built. Don't be scared. I'm not scared of Pyux. Pyux always trying to come in. We've already played Pyux. Yeah, we got Mares and Walker on the right side. Golden. We actually got some Kim on this draft. Uh, Dalglish plays exceptionally well. Like I said, I have his prime version. He moves really well. He has great agility. And I feel like on the moments, Dalglish, you can put an engine. Why don't I want it? For one, Pyax is not likely we would match up, so I'd be playing someone across the pond on 700 ping. And two, I don't want to beat you and take your coins away from your draft. Do I regret not? No, I don't regret that at all on Mares. Ma Ma I've never really loved Mares in FIFA, personally. Like he's his weak foot's always been really poor. He's always been a good dribbler of the ball, but his weak foot's are always been poor. Doesn't really fit the way I play FIFA. Yeah, Mares should be going up to a ninety, Ryan. Playing someone with several, let's see, Premier League, French options. They have Ederson. I don't think that's how that works, Pyox. Neymar greater. I, I, I think Dalglish is a better striker, personally. Neymar is a better, like, cam, better dribbler, better creator. Exactly, Ryan. That's what we were talking about. We did four prime icon packs in the last four days. I would have had enough fodder to complete SEN today, but it is what it is. We don't we don't now. Oh, it's nice. I'm, I'll never underappreciate chemistry again. Having these guys actually be able to move and respond. My God, that's a world of difference. And directional nutmeg to haul it. I mean, just a big difference. 
big difference. Zero wins rewards are nowhere near as good as four win rewards packs. All right, so let's put Hullet back here. Let's put Pele up top. Maybe we should just have Hullet as a striker. I don't know. I think that will. Let's switch Mares and Bergwijn. But yeah, I will never Red Links. I'll never uh, be upset with Red Links again. Now, like I talked about it earlier, that last year we had Team of the Season at all in our club at four or five chemistry. I don't remember. I believe it was five chemistry because he got the manager boost. But we had a hundred chemistry on the team, so he still didn't lose his stats. Like when we played that last one on forty-two chemistry, like they were losing like all their stats, so they were feeling just like doubly horrible. I mean, it felt. It honestly felt like I've done some challenges playing with a bronze. Uh, with the bronze Stevenage team, they felt basically like bronze players, which is probably where they came from. I'm still uh, all my champs right now, Cameron. Right now, I'm at 17 wins. I'm trying to decide now. I'll, I will definitely play the gold one to have the jumbo rare players packs. I'm deciding if I want to go to 22 or 23. 22 would give us that extra weekend league player pick or whatever from the weekend league plus objective. So I'm debating how far I feel like going. Right now we're just in a draft. I'm trying to get some more tradable packs for uh, Team of the Season opening. Oh, Mares, what was that? The fate of football is up to oil. Well, everything always comes down to money in the end. If there is another dollar to be made, they will find that dollar to be made. Hold it, oh my God, hold it is so good. Come on. All it should have buried that one. You do have the fodder to get Dalgleish. You may finally replace your... Oh my gosh, you've had red 86 Rashford for, for that long. My goodness. Yeah, definitely. You. I think you will love... Now, Rashi is awesome. Rashi has his own strengths. You know, just sometimes being able to get through like these impossible... Like you'll tackle Rashi and he just somehow ends up... Still ends up having the ball... But Dalgleish, you know, from my experience of having prime Dalgleish, you will you will love having moments Dalgleish. Yeah, that's one of the most frustrating things, Josh, when you don't even press a tackle button and you can see the pin. And like we can even move our defenders in the box. This is crazy. No, how did that get through? Oh, that's right. We were going to make a change at the back. I was going to take Boateng off. I think I just flipped Holland and Pele. We need to take Boateng off. There we go, Bergwine. Bergwine. Oh, what? Well, yeah, we need to do the Bergwine celebration. All right, here we go. Let's see. What were what were we going to do? We were going to take Boateng off and bring on Dalot. And I think everything else is fine, other than that. I would say for now. I mean, we maybe make some changes. I wouldn't mind taking Kimmich off just for his pace, but I think he will be okay.
Maybe this is what we should do before we play champs every time. Play a game on like the, the 40 chem mode and then go into a match because your players, you feel like you're playing with like full, I don't know, it feels like we're playing with moments Ronaldinho at the moment. He was not off. Are you kidding me? He was not off. Should have had more, should have had more. Only being up two is a little poor for how those matches went, but it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's going to be yeah a lot of fullbacks. Will, it will also be interesting to see if there will there will be some actual center backs that can be used instead of fullbacks. But there will definitely be a lot of meta a lot, a lot of meta fullbacks that can be used at center back for sure. Not where I wanted the pass to go. Come on, Pele. Now, that, there's Mares in a nutshell. Insane dribbling. I can just never get him to finish. Now, I didn't necessarily want him to finish that with his weak foot, but that's where it ended up on, but that's just one of the problems. You sold your first owner tradable road to the finals, Davies, when he was 900K now. Now, we had that... Uh, I had Davies' team of the year in my club for a while. Absolutely loved him. I wouldn't mind seeing him back into the team at some point. But I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't really want to play that Davies at um come on get in. Wouldn't really want to play Davies at um center back, I don't think. I'd rather want to play Davies in the midfield. We played him as like a midfield role, but you could play him even at striker. Nice win there. Bergwine with two goals. Mares had two misses for us. I feel like Mares needs to do a little bit more for us, but nice win overall. Nice actually playing with players on Kim again. Made a huge, huge difference. But anyways, boys, I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. We'll have a short stream today, but if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. We'll be live again tomorrow, maybe trying to do some more draft. Maybe we'll grind. We need to do the grind. That's, I can't even bring myself to do it, but we need to be grinding for Asensio and for Niederlechner. 
Oh, I got you not selling. I've got you. I was wondering what you were talking about, Ryan, because, yeah, when he was 900K, well, if you were here late, Ryan, we uh, I sold my Moments Eto. We lost about a million coins on Eto's Moments card, so... I feel you on that, brother. It's just, it's fr you just never can time it. You know, you've got to enjoy some of your players. Cucarella are the new Sayul SBC. If you've already got the Cucarella, then just play with Cucarella. We're really close to the team of the season. No point in completing another SBC right now where we're going to be getting low, overloaded with cards that are going to be as good as that Sayul that you don't have to put anything into your up from your club from. But anyways, boys, thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.